Hey guys, it's Frequent Flyers. Welcome back for another dick slapping video. I've been slapping you guys with a lot of cringe lately of the healthcare variety. And today we're going to be taking a little break from that. Today we're going to be taking time to look at an EMS crew that's an absolute unit. I stumbled on this video the other day and I figured, let's do a little video on the do's and don'ts of EMS and what a good provider really looks like. Without further ado, let's do this shit. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. As you can see, this is your run-of-the-mill funeral, headed by a man of the cloth. Let's keep watching and see where this takes us. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Hey! Surely goodness Where could that ghastly voice have come from? The wind, perhaps? Maybe someone in the crowd? And mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Over here! Unto Almighty God we commend the soul of our brother. Mm. We commit his body to the ground. Earth hey, you! Earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Insurance. Someone talking to me? No, Tenemas in your pocket. Looks like this dead man has come to be greeted by the ghost of Christmas past, to which I can only assume that the other person is Scrooge. Let's figure out what they have to say. I'm from Murfreesville myself. Oh yes, I know Murfreesville. Hey, I used to think it was a pretty good place to live. What uh, changed your mind? Little car wreck I had. <laughs> I just got a promotion in a big raise. Did a little celebrating on the way home. Really racked up the car. Rough way to go. No, I was still alive. At least until those morons showed up. Local ambulance service? Yeah. You know, I might have made it if it hadn't been for them gorillas. Yeah, I found out later on I was one of their very first victims. In more ways than one. Hey, car wreck, 1218 North Pine. Get gone. As you can see here, we have this dead man shaming these poor healthcare heroes. We're gonna analyze their actions and find out if this is just a spiteful patient. That's funny. What's so funny about it? No, I mean, I had a pretty bad car wreck myself. Yeah? I was on my way home from a long sales trip. I've been driving all night. We better get to a phone. There's a gas station down the road. I guess I fell asleep at the wheel. Tough. Well, I was hurt pretty bad, but I was still alive. And then your ambulance service finished the job, right? Oh, we've got a pretty good ambulance service in our town. They're all EMTs, nationally registered. Check one, one, half empty for the resuscitation two. Check one, large resuscitation two. Unit one, respond to a traffic. Well, that's strike one for this nationally certified crew. Can't even come in early enough to finish their checklist before the tones go off. Not impressed so far, boys. Now folks, what you're witnessing is exceptional use of EVOC training. This man knows how to drive and he's willing to show you. This is exactly the kind of driving we need in EMS. Is he breathing? I'm not sure. He's breathing, rate about 24 to 28. As you can see here, these nationally certified EMTs are already on scene making up vitals. Two seconds ago, you didn't even know if he was breathing. Now you know he's breathing at 24 to 28 respirations a minute. You might have well said 16 at that rate. Give me that damn thing. Good job. 
as you just saw, these amazing EMTs recognize the need for forcible entry and anesthetic for the patient who is in severe pain. Two birds with one stone, boys. You're doing great. Oh, take it easy, buddy. You got me okay. Oh, God, my legs. Turning over. Turning over. Guys in bad shape. Jeez, it's enough to make you sick. Once again, just a flawless job from these guys. They recognize the need for an emergency extrication, in part probably due to the gas leak behind the car. And they even took a minute to observe the wounds on the patient's face. These guys recognize that a visual assessment goes a long way. Pupils responsive but sluggish. Did you check him for medic alert tags? Yeah, he's clean. Here's a nose, okay? No blood or fluid. No skull depressions. Skin still cool and clammy. BP, 90 over 54. Maybe a bit low for this guy. Let's keep an eye on it. I count two fractured ribs. I'm gonna have to give these guys another strike here. You know what would be a really good place for this assessment? The ambulance right behind you. Filled with everything you have in that tackle box, guys. Get your shit together. we got here a game of stick ball is he hurt bad beats hell out of me didn't you do a body survey i look like some flipping doctor to you got an id we're from economy ambulance service officer no him him Stranger. Want me to check his wallet? Don't touch his wallet. Where are you taking him? Out to dinner and a movie. Now, where the hell do you think we're taking him? Now, just wait a second. Listen, pal. We don't crush crime. You don't haul victims, okay? Look. Is there any chance you can move that ambulance out of the middle of the street? All in good time. I'll tell you folks, this is textbook how to deal with PD on scene of all your medicals. Here we can see these two fine EMTs keeping control of their scene. It's integral that you display dominance towards PD. I couldn't have showed you how to do it better myself. Tibia and two ribs. Possible neck injury. BP 90 over 54. Pulse 120. Respiration 24 and shallow. 104 unit 1, continue oxygen at 6 liters per minute and continue to monitor vital signs. What is your ETA? ETA, Mercy Hospital, 15 minutes. We'll recontact if necessary. Unit 1 clear. 104 unit 1, awaiting your arrival. Mercy clear. Man, those guys were fan- We're just gonna forget about all the information you left out of that report. A report robotic enough to sound like a T-70 Terminator character. Hey, wait a minute. You got such terrific hair, what are you doing here? You're not gonna believe this. Try me. Well, about a month after I got out of the hospital, I was over in your neck of the woods. Yeah? I was just walking across the street. Yeah? And I got run over by an ambulance. Hey, now oh, tell me. Yep, big guy with a cigar driving, little guy next to him. That's them. I hope they put those two gorillas away forever. I don't know what happened to them, but I'll bet they're not driving ambulance anymore. I sure hope not. Hey, I gotta be going. Sure nice talking with you. Nice talking to you. You know, the one thing that bothers me most is I never had a chance to thank those guys that helped me. They were terrific. They were skillful and professional. But most important, they cared. And that's what makes the difference between life 
or death. So to all you EMTs out there, from all the rest of us, you kept out of here. Thanks. Well, you're mighty welcome, dead guy with the floating head. Well, guys, I think it's pretty clear which EMT sucked. Both of them, pre-hospital care is a joke. Anyways, I had a lot of fun making this video. I just happened to stumble upon this a few days ago. Thought it was pretty funny and figured this make an interesting video to some extent. And like I said, give you a little break from the cringe. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a little like and subscribe. Please feed the bottomless pit that is my content creation life. And as always, live fast, eat ass.